Now one last plug-in before we go, and it's this one here, the free G. And thankfully, the word free in its name is because it is free. You can go and grab this now, even if you have nothing else in the Synalxis bundle. So this is a giveaway plugin, and it's a pretty good one too, so I'd recommend you go and grab it either way. So let's quickly discuss what this is for, and then go over all the controls. This is a plugin that you can put over any channel. In my case now, I've got it over my master channel, but it can act as a little insert to give you control over all sorts of things, including main output level here, you can also trim the input with this control here. And you can pan from this control here. So if I run this track now, I can pull down the output level there, just like a, a fader on a channel. I can trim the input from here. I can pan the whole thing to one side there. And then I've got these other controls here. Now this one here is a phase reversal control. Now at the moment being a stereo instance of the plugin, it's flipping both channels at the same time, so we probably won't be able to hear any difference. It's changing the absolute polarity of the performance. But if this was a mono insert, then we'd be able to flip the phase on one side to correct any problems that may exist. Over here, just a bypass for the entire plugin. So if I've got that turning things down, then I bypass. So we go back to the unbypass version, so it just corresponds with the bypass in your host. Over here is the mute, which will mute that entire channel in case things are getting out of control, which enables you to use this plugin perhaps as a master volume controller as well if you haven't got a dedicated piece of hardware. And finally here is the fine control. And what this does is changes this meter scale here into a much finer one. Now this is a really clever feature. So for instance, right now it's an extremely coarse control. I can turn it all the way down or blow things up really loud there. But if we switch over into the setup pane here and you get to that by clicking on this free G logo here, I have a fine range control here. So 6, 12 or 18 dB. So for instance, let's make it 6 dB and apply that. Now when I switch into fine mode, the entire range of this fader is gonna be just 6 dB, which is a really clever feature. So let's do that. Switch into fine mode, and you can see the scaling change as I do that. Now, that's all the way down. That's all the way up. So it's like a 12 dB throw from the bottom to the top. Six up to zero, and another six on top. Really nice feature. Most of the other things in here we have covered in other plugins. So the default mode, in this case, whether the plugin defaults to the normal mode or this fine mode we just discussed. Ballistics of the meter we've covered. The pan law we've covered in the stereo tools section. Whether the bypass button flashes or is a steady lead. The mute button, whether it flashes or a steady lead. And the trim range for the trim control that we showed on the front panel. So the settings are quite straightforward there. The only other thing we haven't talked about here is the pre button, and this shows whether the metering is pre or post the plugin itself. So let's go for instance here, get out of fine mode. So you can see the standard metering there at the moment. Let's pull it down. So of course these meters have come down with me now. If I'm in pre mode, the meters are showing me the situation before the plugin does its thing. So we're seeing the metering before I pull the output down, pre versus post. So that's the free G plugin. Go and get that immediately. And that's the end of our entire series on the Synalxis bundle. I hope you found that useful and I look forward to talking to you all again in my next series.